what's up family i'm rachel and i'm joe and we are two, two crazy, crazy ketos. ketos if you're new to our channel welcome yes welcome to the 265 new subscribers since the last keto on the couch yeah here on our channel we do different things like product reviews we do recipe videos we talk about various keto topics and then once a week we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we just talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. Wait a second. This is like the eighth video in the last four days. You are sick of our faces. Does that mean I can skip this, this entire point? week? Like, no, I dare just like, please turn these people off. I can't, I can't hear that woman's annoying voice any longer. Just shut her up. Well, anyway, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we upload a new annoying video, you'll be alerted to it. I got one worse for you. We fooled you because this is not keto on the couch. Oh, we, we have a couch yep. and we're on it and we are keto. Yep. Still, so and we'll talk about keto things. Yep. But it's really like a travel vlog still. So it is day three of KetoCon, last day. Yeah. It's day four of our vlogging. It's day five of you not sleeping. Have you slept in not, five days? Not really. So, it, not really. I've had like two or three hours sleep because we keep getting back to the hotel at like 10 or 11 o'clock at night and then I still have to edit the video to get up. I have a whole new respect for vloggers, for daily vloggers. I don't know how you do it. Yeah, I, I just have a new respect for it. So, so next, this week, I don't know about Keto on the Couch. Like, Keto on the Couch may not go up until Tuesday. <laughs> Well, we've done we've done nothing but like hang out together and talk. So like, well, we really were gonna do it in the airport. You're probably sick of us at this point. But <laughs> that's true. <laughs> we were gonna do it in the airport, but my favorite part of the keto on the couch is like reading comments. Yeah. And I haven't had a chance to pull a comment off of last week's keto on the couch. So maybe what we'll do is we will like make keto on the couch next week just. Yeah, I power packs. Let me let me punch it. Let's power, power pack, pack it. it. No keto on the couch this week, but you guys have had daily vlogs. There'll be another one up for tomorrow. At tomorrow, I think it's gonna be another double upload video day. So I'm sorry, yes. no keto on the couch. But Rachel is not gonna let me film her when we get home at midnight tonight. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> that one video was bad enough, wasn't it? Were you like waking me that up? That was their favorite video. Oh dear lord, I look like a hot mess of crazy. I was like, wait until oh I get her when she wakes up in the morning at home, and her hair. I got an awesome picture. I wish you'd let me share it. No, where her <laughs> hair is out like in fifty directions. Sir, would you like to remain married? <laughs> you gotta keep that. Okay, so. Last day at KetoCon, I am really, I'm very sad, honestly. Like, I've made some good friends this week. I have made some really good friends. I love that, like, it, it, it went from being, you know, a lot of people that I enjoyed watching on YouTube um, to, to becoming, like, friends with them and, like, feeling like a, you know, a real-life connection with them. So yep. that's been awesome. But we're traveling. Full disclosure. Full, I mean, I can't not be full disclosure. <laughs> Um, my body is like a middle schooler. We don't go number two unless we're at home. Me too. So like, I'm afraid if KetoCon was like two more days and I was trying all I've of this stuff. I've got the perfect solution for it. You want the perfect solution for constipation on keto? Walk up and down a KetoCon or any kind of keto convention and just sample every product that has allulose and erythritol in it. I give you 20 minutes. <laughs> You're going to be running. I don't know. Not my not my body. We really haven't sampled that much of it. Like, I've been so super careful with I it. I have not been careful. <laughs> I have been eating everything that wasn't nailed down. And nothing is nailed down. <laughs> That's like, true. Like, FYI. So, um, I mean, all keto food. Yeah. But, like, a lot of it. And still, no. 99% like, no, keto food. There were the a couple things I was like, I don't know about that one. I don't want that. Oh, well, as far as we we knew. Yeah. From, like, when we put it in our mouth, we were we Yeah, were no, no. I think them. everything we ate. But I, there were a couple of products that I was like, eh, I don't know about that. But we, we're we not. We decided we're going to go through today and find some of our favorite products. I mean, you guys have seen we, where we kind of interviewed different people. Yeah. But we're going to go through and maybe make a list of, like, these are our... Not best things there, like new to us, yeah. new finds to us, or new things that we'd never tasted. Like, 
I can tell you right now, peak yogurt is like number one, but you guys have seen it yeah. already. But just like, I'm not a yogurt person. Well, and, and that stuff is amazing. And I want to apologize, like, if we, like, I don't know, just really sound ignorant because it's a product we've never tried before. So, like, there, there's some people that have been eating peak yogurt for Well, it's been a off the shelves time. for, like, I don't know, three months but because they have, of the change but, manufacturing facility. But they had tried it, at least. Some people have tried it. And so, um... I'm sorry that if it's like we're like, wow, this is new and exciting, and you're like, I've been eating that forever. But well, you've got to go us. over there today because when we were leaving last night, she said to me, "Hey, because we can't get in Florida," she's like, "Come back over." And uh, Evan was like, "I'll give you a cup for you can have a cup for dinner." And I'm like, "Oh yes," because this is my last opportunity to eat pig yogurt, and probably until the next convention we go to. It was so good. So they're like, "You want to try something insane?" And I'm like, "What is it?" And he took a spoon of the yogurt, okay, put olive oil. And salt and pepper on it. It's does a sweetened... Oh, does that go together? You have got to go try that today. Oh my god! Just gosh. ask her to make you the savory yogurt. And it was so good. That is interesting. So, okay, well, it is almost 9 o'clock. The convention started 50 minutes were you, ago. Were you putting bunny ears on me? No, I was oh. looking at my watch. Oh, okay. So here's the plan for today. Yes. Okay, so the plan for today is we're going to go around... We're gonna try to find some of the smaller like companies, like really little mom and pop they're companies. They're getting started that are just, right they're here. They're just breaking this in. Like there were a couple that we talked to. Like this is it. This is their like launch. Yeah. So we're gonna go talk to some of them. Mm -hmm. We really want to go around and talk to some of the other like YouTuber and Instagram people. Yeah. Like find some different people that like we didn't know about, and maybe you guys don't know about, and introduce you to some other people that you can follow because we've met. Some cool people. That are really just fun and authentic. Yeah. And just... I mean, we got to hang out last night with a bunch of people and, and with it was like hosted by Keto Chow. Just eat some barbecue. And they're just like the most down to earth people. The Everybody there. Family. Hard working family. Like, oh, oh my goodness. All of them. I mean, and then they were like making Keto Chow for today. I mean, it was just incredible. And we're going to go over there. We got an we got an announcement with them. We're going to go over with Chris Yay. for a challenge coming up. We're going to let that, Chris... That like, we're going to do. That we're going to do. Okay. So... <laughs> so we're gonna do that, and we're so we're and we're gonna go interview some different people, and then we're just gonna kind of close it out and finish it up. Maybe go around and find some of our favorite new find products. I'm sorry if my eye is twitching. I'm already going through that mom thing when you're like leaving a hotel. Like I'm like I'm sure we have underwear under the bed somewhere. I am sure that we have some sort of like shampoo or makeup or something, and I've got to make sure that this guy like has all of his clickers and bags and. Not nonsense like but i'm already like freaking out as well, we like close out the hotel room experience this has been awesome i do want to say one thing before we close this out. i know this is a long beginning yes but we have we both have an iphone we were coming back from dinner last night we both put the exact same address in and her iphone was taking her to the hotel and his iPhone was taking him to an abandoned lot. Three miles away. It's trying to kill him. It's trying to kill you. Can somebody tell me what's up with that? Have you ever experienced that? Where like you both, like you and You're your You're in spouse, the same car. and you, Or you and a friend like put in the same address and it takes you two different places. Insane. Because we're in the same like location. Yep. When it says current location, we're in the same location. I know. I just realized that this is the first time in a hotel now that we have adult kids where there's nobody fighting over who gets to ride this down. Yay, I get to be the one that rides. I thought you said we didn't have any more kids. Just one. <laughs> Don't you love this now? It's the last time getting in this elevator. Still on level three, so at least we'll remember where our car is parked. Yeah. I put on a rain jacket because it's kind of yucky out today. <laughs> and to put on extra deodorant. Because, well, I'm happy about that one. Well, you're meeting people, and they say that, like, you don't smell as bad on keto, but, like, I have a left armpit that's, like, obviously doing, doing dirty keto or something because it has not gotten that memo. Hello, and welcome to the show, kitties. I'll get you. And your little dog, too. Are we in a support group? <laughs> Are you supporting me? Oh my gosh. I am geeking out. I am here with this 18-year-old woman. Right? From Tony Talks Keto. Now, she ha she had to pull out her driver's license to me. I did. Because I totally 
to totally believe that she's 20 years old. Like I am. She says it. Mentally. She says she has a grandchild, but there's no way. Look at this woman. Three there's, grandchildren. No, there's not a wrinkle on her face. Well, is she maybe. Tell us how old she is? I'm 50. Lying and proud on a Sunday. Can I'm, you believe I'm, this? Okay, so like in chronological years, I'm 50, but mentally, I'm like 17. That's me. She's. I, mean, I refuse just, to grow up. I, I'm I not like gonna happen. Year old. It's not gonna happen. Gorgeous. I've had a great time. You guys have been great. And I have been creepily stalking you. Oh wow! Like, I love I'm that. Sorry. I like, love that. I'm sorry. When she, like, when somebody mentioned my refrigerator, I was like, "What uh, in yeah. the world?" Well, that was <laughs> We've been <laughs> binge watching her ever since oh, we my met God, you. Are because so sweet. like you are just the coolest person ever, oh, and your you. husband is like super sweet too. He really is. He was so. Ne I met him He's yesterday. So anti-keto though. And it was hilarious because yeah, we, we had no idea. You know, you just assume like everybody is like that's Everybody's here kiddo. but but some of us get dragged to shows like i can totally see dragging yeah. like family members right? to shows and everything well he, he's I a mean, funny he's, guy he, he's omad and he's sugar free so he's this close to keto he's so if he could give up the, the dark side we have keto cookies we can glee we have bacon bacon right Seriously. he eats bacon Seriously. he eats all the good keto things it's just he's not a vegetable fan it, it's a hard sell uh yeah so where Wrong. are we gonna find her Yes, tell us where we're gonna find you. You're gonna find me at Tony Damien Keto on YouTube, Tony Damien76 on Instagram, and Tony Damien on Facebook. We'll leave links down below. Yay! Yay! Thank you guys. Guys, I'm here with Carrie from one of my favorite companies, Lencanto Monkfruit, and I'm gonna let her tell you about a new product that is coming out very shortly. Yeah, guys, it's um, a convenience product so that you can have a great muffin without any sugar with one net carb, and it tastes amazing. Um, convenience product is blueberry muffin mix. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so the deal is is that we only made 5000 to start. Um, if you go to our website and sign up for early access, the Summer of Sweetness, you can get your hands on on Monday. Um, they don't sell out. They're going to go to the public on Tuesday of this week. So and what's the price on them? Probably like eleven ninety nine. I have to check. Eleven ninety nine. So about eleven ninety nine. Yeah. Don't like quote me on it. And what is the like total carbs and nutrition on it? One net carb, keto friendly, um, vegan. If you want to use coconut oil, you can use butter also. Um, and obviously, the monk fruit sweetener, so it's sugar free. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you very much. I'm excited. I'm getting this one. Yeah, me too. So we just met the coolest guy. This is Aaron, and Aaron has lost over, what, 100 pounds? 80 pounds. 80 pounds on keto. I'm gonna get you to send me your the picture, if you don't mind, so Absolutely. I can put the before and after. Absolutely. When you see this, this, look at these pictures. It is incredible. And Aaron, you have an Instagram, right? Yes. So what is your Instagram so everybody can go follow you? CBD underscore muscle. So CBD underscore muscle. Go follow him and check out his Instagram. He's incredible. What did you do? What made you start keto? Well, other, when you see my before and after, you'll see that I was like close to 300 pounds, um, very bad inflammation issues, uh, gout, suffering from gout for 12 plus years. So I knew I had to make a change. Right. And the funny thing, oddly enough, the doctors always told me, you're eating too much red meat. You're eating too much red it's meat. Ridiculous. That's what's causing the gout attacks. Right. And I got to tell you, I mean, I haven't, I've eaten more red meat in the last two years than I have the last 12 years based off of misinformation. So, I mean, as you can see, I'll send two crazy ketos, which I love the name. Oh my God, Thank two you. crazy ketos, heck yeah. So I just love that, our whole community, how we're all like pushing each other, trying to find something that works and, uh, I mean, I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't do it for myself, to be honest, like that you could eat this much fat and continue to lose weight. I, I, but to know that sugar and carbs are the bad guys, yeah. Yeah. Now I totally believe her. I run completely off of fat. In fact, uh, they just checked my blood and I'm ketosis right now. Good job. You're so also I'm happy. like destroying misconceptions that you can't like bulk up weightlifting wise yes. and have uh, a keto diet. Like I thought you had to be carb heavy pasta guy I'm, in order to be a weightlifter. Not only am I the same strength, if not stronger at the gym, I last a lot longer at the gym. Uh, my wife calls me, she's like, you know you've been at the gym for almost three hours. So I, I sometimes, oh, I'm so sorry. And I just hurry home, but yeah. I've, I've never felt better than I do right now. 39, a year away from 40, so. No way are you yeah. 39. These people are lying about their ages. 
<laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. So the whole keto has been such a blessing in our lives, and me and my wife are total keto. Good job. Well, guys, go check out his Instagram channel. All right, guys, we met the lovely and gorgeous Katrina, who is our subscriber of the week. Katrina has an incredible weight loss success. You've been on keto for two and a half years. Two and a half years. And how much have you lost? I have lost 75 pounds. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Thank you. You are incredible. And look at this gorgeous woman. And what is your favorite keto dish, like entree, that you enjoy? Ribeye steak, <laughs> all the way. Oh. Okay, yes, that is the cut of meat to have. And what is one of the like non-scale victories, but just like health things that you're enjoying, like from keto? Like we noticed, like I don't get headaches anymore, and I didn't, I didn't go on keto to not have headaches anymore, but I'm enjoying the fact that I don't have headaches anymore. So. Yes, just the increased energy is amazing. Being 55 years old. No, nope. okay. No way. I didn't ask her why. I need to start asking people so I don't have this like. No, you're not. Yes, I am. She's lying on a Sunday. I'm a grandma. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, hot grandma. Okay, man. So, so you have an increased en energy, and I'm increased sure energy, yeah. that that's your grandkids like that too. Oh, they love it because you can like run after them. Exactly. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being You're our subscriber welcome. of the week, that's and awesome. And it's so good to meet you. You too. All right. Awesome. Wow, what a weekend. This was the best day yet. I'm gonna like cry because. It was just so amazing, like, the people that we got to, like, chat with. Yeah, there weren't a lot of people today. So because we really... everybody's going home. So we really got some time with vendors. We got time with... Yeah. With, with people that we've seen on, you know, YouTube. We've got, we got to meet, like, incredible people like Ask Nurse Cindy. Oh, my weekend. gosh. She's incredible. She's incredible. Like, if you're already a fan of hers, you know how great she is. Well, she's... We're going to put a link. She does everything on Facebook. Yeah, I mean, she does upload her videos to um, YouTube. Okay. But she's she's so interesting to listen to. and We um, got to hang out with her last night when we were with Chris woman. from Keto Chow. I'm going to cry because like, I'm, I'm going to miss everybody that we got to meet in person this This week. was, do you regret, like, this was our vacation. Like, you wanted to do Universal I, Studios. I know, I was like, let's go to Universal Studios. And I was like, no, I want to go here. And the deciding factor, honestly, was I'm like, well, it's up to God and one of you guys. And again, I really want to mention her name, but she hasn't said it was okay. So, but one of you guys like gave us the tickets to be there, be here. And I want to tell you, you know who you are. I got you your shirt for your husband. We got a shirt. And you have blessed these two crazy ketos more than you will ever know. We've come away from here. We didn't go to one talk and I'm sorry that we're not bringing you that information, but yeah, we'll, we we'll had so much fun just interacting with everybody here. We were like, we can go like online and look at Dr. Barry's talk, you yeah. know? And, but the amount of information, the friendships that we took away from here, some of the vendors, realize, seeing some of the people that are making these new products, it was incredible. And it really drove home the point to me that like, if you have a keto event going on in your local area, attend it. Go to it. It's a giant family. It's a giant family. And I know, like, I, I don't think I realized how, you know, I'm still, you know, socializing like a woman that is a hundred pounds heavier than I am right now. Like th on the inside of me, I'm still afraid of rejection. I'm still afraid of like people will want, you know, me as a friend. Like I, I still worry about getting picked for the softball team, so to speak, you know, that, that feeling of rejection. So it's hard for, I didn't even realize how hard it was to like go out into social settings as someone who's a hundred pounds right. less heavy and start trying to talk to people that that's challenging. You know, sometimes there's a safety net on this here YouTube where, you know, I don't have to see faces of people who are like, I don't like you. You're too crazy. Like you're too silly. And, mm -hmm. and here at the, this event, it just drove the point home to me. Like you're saying, this is a family 
This is everyone is in it for for you to be healthy. They people want to friend others and encourage others in their journey. So if you have a local keto hang out thing going on a convention in your area you're finding more and more like i'm seeing like on facebook thing people that go in like hey we're getting a keto get together in orlando it. like it's not a convention there's no like you know sponsors and there's no products yeah. just a bunch of keto people getting together like a keto support group for a day like having a picnic or something you need to do it yeah because just realizing it today we've i feel like we've made friends for life I really both do. just the average person like us showing up here mm -hmm. like people who aren't like on YouTube and people who aren't on Instagram just average people and with some vendors but Chris from Keto Chow to meet the person behind that product and why he started it and Miriam his wife and Miriam his wife and everybody that he's got working for him like they're like friends for life now yeah. like they they even we were like what are we going to do until we have to go to the airport and they're like hey why don't you just here we'll give you the key to our house and go hang out at the house like they're renting a house while they're here they're like go to our house go hang out they're just i mean precious like people. precious people who are awesome Very and we're going to put it in a separate video but he has given us a challenge and we're going to do that, that we're going to do and we're going to start it next week so here's the deal guys we got so much footage today if i put but all of this footage into this video. It'll be the Titanic movie. This video is going to be Times like two. three hours long. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of the footage in here because we interviewed vendors, we interviewed people, um, other like people who are on YouTube. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it into multiple videos. Mm -hmm. And for the next few days, we're probably going to do multiple uploads a day. So we're going to do like maybe one of the videos from KetoCon. Mm -hmm. And then one of the videos, like our normal videos, like a review video. Some of them may be like a review video from something we got at KetoCon. Yeah, because we don't want you to miss out on all our the normal new, thing. Well, all the new products that we saw. Right. Like, and a lot of these companies want to get their products in your hands to like for you to give them a try if you weren't at KetoCon. So we will be having lots of giveaways. We have a lot of giveaways. I think we had six or seven companies today give us products for a giveaway. Yeah. And I don't want to do, I'm not going to do one big giveaway. We're going to do a giveaway. We're probably going to give away like 20 separate items. I don't, I don't even know count. Don't hold me to that number, but like we have some companies like they gave us six or seven things to give away. Yeah. I mean, Grapow gave us bags of Grapow, but he was like, here's the deal. I don't want one person getting all right. three. I want you to give this to three different people. So guys, we're going to head to the airport. It's about three o'clock. We got to go find a place to get gas. Mm -hmm. We got to empty out all the garbage out of the car. Cause we've been living out of our car for three days. It smells delicious in here <laughs> and then we'll check in with you guys at the airport and sign off before we leave because we're not signing off when we land at midnight yeah <laughs> you don't want to see that okay guys so it's four o'clock we don't have to be at the airport until like 5 30 mm -hmm. so we decided we were hungry and i cannot believe we we're actually hungry after walking through that well, whole thing and sampling everything well i was i was hungry for like food a real like meal right so we decided we're gonna stop at five guys and we've never done this before i want to show no. you what we get at five guys if rachel would stop making so much noise with the plastic sorry. wrap sorry i can't wait i'm so excited okay so here's what we got you don't even know we got because you stayed outside i don't okay so we've got we get a bacon cheeseburger from them it smells so good i'm like losing focus okay so we get a bacon cheeseburger and then we add an extra patty Okay. Okay, so you're getting three patties on there. Nice. They only charge you $2 extra for the patty. Are you serious? Yeah. Now, if you get a bacon cheeseburger, little little keto hack that most people don't know, if you order a bacon cheeseburger, you can ask for ec extra bacon, extra cheese. There's no extra charge. What? Yep. So, but you got to get it. You got to get it a bacon cheeseburger. Okay. So you get a bacon cheeseburger. You get extra cheese, extra bacon. Then we've got lettuce, jalapenos, pickles. Um, I put some grilled onions on there, some grilled peppers. This entire thing, I didn't add up the fat and stuff, but the entire thing is only three net carbs. Oh my goodness, I just and got happy. that burger was $11. It's really not bad. But that is a lot of food. Wow. So we're gonna eat, and then we're going to the airport. Mwah, mwah, mwah. So we lied. Yeah, obviously we didn't film when we left. 
we filmed when we landed. Well, we wanted to film when we were leaving, but I got pulled out of security because they said that there's something funny about my boobs. And I'm like, I could have told you that. Yeah, I turned around and she was being escorted into a private room. The guy comes up, where's her stuff? I'm like, over there. No, what did you touch of her stuff? I'm like, her stuff is right there. I mean, it already passed through security. They're like, nope, I have to bring it with me. I have to check everything she owns now. So me and the TSA lady got very well acquainted. <laughs> And they just found out that like, yeah, like it's just, it's just like a 40 plus boob issue. On the positive note, they didn't have the drug sniffing do dogs come after us for MCT powder. Success. Yeah, but they did as I'm putting through because we have an entire suitcase of food that we've got at the convention. The guy's like, do you have any food? And I'm like, yes. He have got all it. food. So he goes, can you take it out? So I open it up. I'm like, he's like, the entire suitcase is food. I'm like, I could have told you that. <laughs> he's like, well, we're going to check the suitcase. I'm like, okay. Enjoy. I'm like, but understand there is a lot of food in there so but then he didn't check it thank goodness we'd still be there so guys hopefully you enjoyed this video we are going to go home and crash and we're gonna collapse there are a lot of videos coming out this week I have already finished editing this video up to this last final clip and then we've got a bunch more coming out for the rest of the week. I hope you guys have enjoyed like going along on this journey with us because we've enjoyed having you. We enjoyed the, the whole trip. We enjoyed vlogging it. Although, like I said, I have a new respect for vloggers who do it every single day. Seriously. Yeah. So if you like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And now it's time for us to go actually enter into the 21st century. And for the first time ever, we're ordering an Uber. I know. I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet this gentleman or lady that's going to be escorting us home. Yay! Bye, guys. Bye.